Nothing says Valentine's Day better than flowers. And with that time upon us, many are making last minute plans for their significant other. A lover of flowers, Tutu Shomefu dished law to pursue her passion as a florist. For her, it's more than just selling flowers. It's more personal here. I had a client a couple of days ago that called me up and asked me for my advice. So I suggested, why don't you send her flowers tomorrow, Tuesday, and on Wednesday? And it actually worked. It's the same for Jemima Shawari, whose shop is across town. Every year, we endeavor to search around the world. We bring flowers from everywhere, you know, to meet the demands of our clients. In Nigeria, splurging on flowers is more common for funerals and weddings throughout the year. Many are unaccustomed to sending messages through flowers, but in the month of February, there's great demand for that and more. Nigerians, um, we, we love to make to 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 give big presents. We like to make things very big. Different outrageous, you know, orders. Some people want bouquets that two people have to carry. But 2015 will be different. Businesses like this are worried the excitement and fanfare surrounding the spirit of Valentine's will not be around next year. And that's because the country's focus will be on delivering ballots and not flowers. Nigeria's presidential and parliamentary elections are scheduled for February 14, 2015. The election period is usually marked by caution and trepidation. Picking a gift for a Valentine, sweetheart, is nerve-wracking enough already. And so is picking presidents and leaders. Whichever the case, it's yet another dilemma Nigerians have to face in the quest to live happily ever after. Aduria Chumba, Lagos. Love. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.